Hey everyone, it's Barry Vess, Living Waters Tabernacle. I just had a, a word come to me and, and thought that I would share it with you. Pastor Keith has asked us several times if anything comes up to just, you know, give us some words of encouragement. And, and you know what? I was, I've was i been studying and for the last two days, this verse keeps coming back. So I want to share it with you and hope that you get something out of it. And I think there's a message in it for all of us. Uh, but the verse comes from Romans 8, 1, and it says, Therefore, there is no, there is now, I like the word now. There is now no condemnation, no guilty verdict, no punishment for those who are in Christ Jesus, who believe in him as personal Lord and Savior. And it says, for the law of the spirit of life, which is Christ Jesus, the law of our being, has set you free from the law of the sin and of death. I'm telling you right now, that just excites me. With everything that's going on today, we don't have to worry about anything that we've done in the past or anything that we've done yesterday. It says there, therefore, there is now no condemnation. So with now being no condemnation, you know what? We don't have to worry about it. It's taken care of. We have everything that God has for us to offer to us is in our hands. And I just want to share that today. Let's get out of our mindset of what the world has to offer, what the politicians have to offer. Look. God, Abba Father, is the one that we need to be going to right now. I'm going to read you something else. You might say, uh, you might say, I, I, I don't understand how to become one. How do I become a, a part of the kingdom? How do I come become what Christ wants me to do? It's simple. It's as simple as just saying, Jesus, I love you. And I, and I go to this several times. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe it in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. But I also want to read you John 3.18, which says, Whoever believes and has decided to trust in him as their personal Lord, as their personal Savior and Lord, excuse me, is not judged for this one. There is no judgment, no rejection, no condemnation, but the one who does not believe and has decided to reject him as a personal Lord and Savior is judged already. That one has been convicted and sentenced because he has not believed and trusted in the same, in the name of the Lord one and only begotten Son of God, the one who is truly unique to the only one of his kind, the one who only, who alone can save him. Let me tell you right now, you've already made your decisions today. If you're seeing this out there, you have made your decision. And you say, how have I made my decision? I've not ever prayed to God. Well, unfortunately, John 3, 18 says you have made your decision. But I have the best news ever. God says, come to me, believe that I was born of a virgin, that I have everything to you, for you, to give to you. There is therefore, once you do all this, there is therefore no condemnation. Now, no condemnation. Now, no condemnation. And you, saw, you might say, well, you know what? When the Bible was written, things weren't going on like they were today. No, actually, you're right. They, it was not the same. If you go back into the Old Testament, you know, there was there was plagues. There was all kinds of awful things that God put upon the people to try to get them to come back and trust in him and love him. And they learned the hard way. What makes us think that's any different today than it was thousands of years ago before Christ ever walked on the face of the earth? There was all these things that God would do to try to get people to trust in him and believe in him, and they would constantly turn their back on him. I'm telling you today, don't put your trust and your faith in mankind in this world. I have the best solution for you, and I have the best solution for your family. You may say, we're, we're starving for something. Now, I'm not talking food. I'm talking spiritually. If you're wandering around this world saying, hey, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. I'm scared of everything around me. I need somebody to protect me. I need somebody to take care of me. I'm telling you right now, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is the one that can do that for you. I'm a little bit excited this morning. I was reading this, and I love that verse. Therefore, there is now, now, right now, no condemnation. 
Once you give your heart to God and you give it to him and you try to live for him and you constantly are living for Christ Jesus, he's going to give you, there'll be no more condemnation on you. One more verse I want to share. And I want you to understand that this verse is a very, very important verse to what I'm trying to say today. It goes back to what I mentioned a minute ago when it says that, you know, Jesus was different. You're right. The, or the world was different. Jesus has not changed, but the world changes. But I want to tell you what it says. And if you go to Hebrews 13, 8, it says, Jesus Christ is eternally changeless and always the same yesterday, today, and forever. It doesn't mean it's changed. He is always there for us. He will always be there for you. So I ask you today, maybe these words will help you. You know what? They say all this virus stuff that we've got going on is, you know, they're wanting to open up the country right now. I'm telling you right now, the only thing you need to do is open up your heart to Christ. And I promise you that fear, that longing, that that emptiness that you may have down deep can be filled with Christ Jesus. And if you don't know how to do that, or if you have concerns about how to do that, I beg of you to contact somebody at our church. You can, you can go to Living Waters Tabernacle uh, um, and email us. That is uh, Living Waters Tabernacle CGMA at gmail.com. You can email us. We'll be happy to contact you back. You can send us a private message from our Facebook site and we'll, somebody will contact you if we, if we and just say, look, I, I have some questions about becoming a Christian. There's always somebody that would love to talk to you about being a Christian or about what maybe you may need to have Jesus in your heart. You know, no matter what we do or what we say about fear, about loneliness, about anxiety, about any of this, I'm telling you right now, it's all by one name, and that name is Jesus. The power of the name of Jesus cannot be matched by anybody else. I love you, and I hope you've gotten something out of this today. And, and like I said, if you need anything, just give us a shout. God bless you.